The hardest things when I was first starting out was the millinery suppliers. There was only one available in Melbourne. I found that there wasn't a lot of help out there. There wasn't any courses. I had to stumble and find my own way and it was challenging. One of the best pieces of advice I was ever given was actually from my dad. He said to me that no one's going to come knocking on your door and it's true. Creatively when I'm designing headwear I usually start with a sketch and have a bit of an idea in mind about the colours I'd like to use, the trims that I'd like to make and then I'll be looking at materials and how can I use those materials in a different way and will it work for this particular design and you know sometimes it, it doesn't work so you have to have a look at other options and thankfully we have House of Adorn that has such an array of beautiful materials so I can have a look at what will work for the design. My style really came about because I was trying to do what other milliners were not doing. I didn't want to swim with the current and go where everyone else was going. I wanted to do my own thing. And my style is very dramatic and structured. I like wow factor hats and I like them to stand out in the crowd. I don't want them fading in the background. When I'm working with materials, I tend to look at what are its limitations? How can I use this material in a different way that other milliners are not using yet? So, you know, I have a play with it and, you know, stretch it to its limits and try and use it in a different way that's really inspirational and dramatic and creates different effects. I really love the materials that I get from House of Adorn. They're beautiful quality. I hoard them and collect them and keep them all and you never know when you're going to need that little piece of leather or little piece of braid. You know, one piece of advice I was given from my millinery teacher is to never throw out any um, piece of material because you never know when you're going to need it. And, and it's true, I have boxes and boxes of all these little scraps and you never know when you're going to need them. I think when it comes to buying materials as well, like we're fortunate now, back in the day 20 years ago there was one supplier but now with House of Adorn I can order it online, call them, they're so helpful and it's shipped down the next day so I'm not, you know, remotely stuck down here, it's, um, it's a world that's all connected now. I think the, the best piece of advice that I can offer any milliner that's starting out is to try and create your own unique sense of style, your signature style that is not particularly what others are doing. You know, I think that that's how you stand apart from what everyone else is working on.